Hey guys, for biochemistry tutorials, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get instant notification of my new video. In this video, we are going to see endoplasmic reticulum. So let's start. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of interconnecting membranes and closing channels or cistern that are continuous with the outer nuclear envelope. It occurs in most type of eukaryotic cells but is absent from RBCs and spermatozoa. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. The first one is rough that is granular and second one is smooth that is agranular. As you can see in this picture granular rough endoplasmic reticulum and a granular smooth endoplasmic reticulum and its continuation with nuclear envelope. Now first we see about rough endoplasmic reticulum. The outer cytosolic phase of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with the ribosomes site of protein synthesis that's why it's called rough endoplasmic reticulum. Functions of rough endoplasmic reticulum The prime function is protein folding. Once proteins are created at ribosomal site, they need to be folded into the right configuration for them to carry out their functions properly. Correct folding of newly made proteins is made possible by several endoplasmic reticulum chaperone proteins. Only properly folded proteins are transported from rough endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi apparatus. Unfolded proteins cause an unfolded protein response as a stress response in the endoplasmic reticulum that we will see in applied part. Now we'll see smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks ribosomes. Now the functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It includes lipid manufacturing and its metabolism. Second is the production of steroid hormones. Next, detoxification of various drugs and in muscle cells they carry out the function of storage and release of calcium ions which makes muscle contraction possible. Clinical applications, disturbances in redox regulation, calcium regulation, glucose deprivation and viral infection or the overexpression of proteins can lead to ER stress response. ER stress response subsequently causes a higher susceptibility for inflammatory processes that may even contribute to Alzheimer's disease. It may lead to the inflammatory bowel diseases including Crohn's disease. ER stress response is a state in which the folding of proteins slows leading to increase in unfolded proteins that is unfolded protein response or misfolded proteins increases in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Sustained overactivation of unfolded protein response has been implicated in Prion's disease as well as several other neurodegenerative diseases. So that's it for now. If you find this video informative then please do like and share this video and also subscribe my channel for more videos on biochemistry. Thank you.